Hi everyone, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small, and today we're going to be unboxing some Team Yankee World War III combat from the fine folks at Battlefront Miniatures, the makers of Flames of War. So, um, I've got a lot of requests to cover more Team Yankee, so that's what we're going to try to do on the channel. I scored this set on eBay, um, brand new, at like almost half off, so I thought it would be a great starter for Jake to build because he likes World War II British and um, British stuff in Team Yankee looks really cool for the most part. Um, and we thought it would be a no-brainer for him to start collecting a British force. So I thought I would do an unboxing. I know this isn't a brand new set. It's been out for a little while, um, but it's still a cool set. So I thought it had some value to show you guys what's in it as well as taking a look at all the sprues and all the good stuff that comes with the starter box. All right, so um, here we got the Brit British Starter Force Challenger Armored Squadron down here. Um, you get all of the models you see here, and then limited edition Death or Glowy Glory token set inside. Flipping it over, we get an actual contents. We get um, two Lynx helicopters, five Challenger tanks, four Fox armored cars, two MLRS rocket launchers, two uh, Scimitar or Scorpion light tanks, two Warrior with Milan anti-tank vehicles, and two Chieftain battle tanks. Includes everything you need to play, including rules, models, and cards. Excellent. So also, you've got the British Start Here booklet uh, decal sheets, which is always good. I like decal sheets. And uh, this says it comes with rare earth magnets. That's interesting. And the unit cards you need to play. All right, let's go ahead and uh, open this up and see what we get. The Team Yankee starter uh, boxes are always a great value, always lots of uh, stuff in them. When you consider one uh, like box of tanks, five tanks, runs about $45 US retail. When you're talking about all this for $100 retail, it's really, um, really a great deal, particularly if you're going to use it. Um, you know, use all the models within. So, looks like good packaging. I'm never going to be able to fit all this stuff back in the box. Uh, which is just kudos to the British. Let's start with the start here because that makes sense. Um, I like this because you've got the uh, a description of the units and how to build them which is very cool. You've got everything all on here, British Armored Squadron. And then on the back, you've got uh, your new army. So if you wanted to play with just this army, um, it looks like you can get to 100 points. That's pretty cool. Um, and I guess it's because, in part, because the challengers are so expensive. Very cool. And then you've got what's next. And there you go. That's our start here. Next up we have in this Ziploc bag the rule book. I love that they always include the rule book. I don't have quite as many of the, the new edition Team Yankee ones floating around. I've got a ton of the Flames of War rule books, which is great because you can share them with friends. Um, or you can just have them, you know, I have one in my travel box, I've got one um, on my bookcase, I've got one in my dice box. Um, the rules are really good. Um, you know, I think Battlefront makes great rules, rule sets. Um, I prefer the rules to Flames of War and Team Yankee to the rules of 40k. Um, and as far as how they are, are written, um, that's not necessarily a slight against 40k. I love playing 40k as well, but um, the rules here are just are just good and whether you are a fan of the previous versions of, of uh, flames of war or team yankee um I, you know i enjoy it it's it's pretty good and this uh, i know this is like an updated rule book you know i don't think they call it team yankee version 2 um but when they rebranded it world war 3 team yankee instead of just team yankee um, they updated and incorporated a lot of the flames of war version 4 rules um, which makes the game, I think, play a little bit better. All right, so you get the full uh, rulebook. 
<clears throat> then you get the uh, decal sheet, four of them, plus uh, the tank commanders. There's a lovely shot of their backs. You get the tokens, which is cool. I see, I see minefields, range and markers, and the aircraft. It's funny that minefield is in grassy color. That minefield's in black. But it's cool to have some custom, um, you know, custom tokens that may just only show up in that this set. Um, so that's always cool. Then you've got your little um, formation, uh, British formations you can build. This, I, I really don't find this useful at all because you got the book, you got uh, the forces online, um, but the cards, I think, are a big, um, a big help. The only thing I could say with the cards is if you have previous versions, make sure you get rid of, throw away, or do something with your old cards and don't mix your old cards in with your new cards or it just feels like it takes forever. But the cards are really nice. They're, I mean, they're beautiful. They're glossy. Um, the way they do their cards is great. Um, this is the uh, Chieftain card, for example. Um, you know, it's got everything you need on it. On the back, of course, it has the cost and the special rules. Um, so, it's very helpful to have these cards when you're playing. You, you know, it cuts down referring to the rule book uh, quite a bit, and especially for someone like me who's balancing and on any particular week, uh, you know, two or three different rule sets in my head. Um, having these rules here uh, would be so cool. Wouldn't it be cool to have like cards like this for uh, 40k? Oh, man, I would love that. All right, sorry. So you get uh, you got your chieftain, your scimitar, your scorpion, your lynx transport helicopter, your tow lynx. That's the anti-tank version. By the way, the the lynx. I was talking to Jake, and he thought that among uh, Team Yankee helicopters, it wasn't the coolest looking. I think the Apache, um, he agrees with me, is the coolest looking. But then we looked online uh, at the Lynx, and it's pretty cool. They're used in like a helicopter acrobatic teams. It can do loops. It's a pretty cool, uh, cool helicopter. Um, you got the MLRS, the rocket launcher. You've got the Challenger Squadron HQ. And look at that with Romer armor. Front 21, nice. You got the Challenger, Armored Troop, your Fox, Recon, and your Warrior anti-tank section, and then, I don't know what that is, but maybe that's the original card, I don't know. Uh, kind of cool. All right, so now we've looked at the card stuff. Let's look at the fun stuff. Now what's interesting is um, most of these come in baggies. This is the only one that didn't come in baggies. These are the Fox Armored cars. Um, so there's four sprues, one of each. And uh, you can see the cool detail. I think these are built similar to how the Humvees go together. You got great detail. Not too much to see on the back end. But there's cool little, uh, cool little cars with giant turrets on them. I mean, who doesn't who doesn't like that? Uh, all right, here we've got a big Ziploc bag, and it is ah, it's open this way. Okay. So this has your your helicopters. You get two helicopters here. Some great detail. Kind of what to expect. There's your tow launchers, helicopter skids, rear rotor. Very nice. So you do get a couple of those. And 
these are the not challengers The Chieftains, yeah, that's the name. You can see some of that cool detail. The more crud on these tanks, the better. They paint better, they look better. So this is a 2016 frame, so this tank's been around for a while. But you get two of them, and they're arguably the, uh, well, I guess not arguably, they're the, the weaker of the tank options, so it gives you two. Um, think of them as like the M60s in the American list, but uh, more more capable than the M60s. Um, the British tanks seem to have more armor uh, in general than their American and Soviet counterparts. Um, Alright, these guys are, I think these are the ones you can build two different ways, the scimitars and the, the uh, I forget what the second option is. But you've got uh, some nice detail here. Again, lots of cool grates and grills on the hull. Like all that detail. All right, next up, we get that. So the MR MLRSs seem to come in. Sorry, that's so loud to open. They seem to come in uh, green because they probably that's the typically the American uh, sprue. These are 2019. I don't know if you can see that there. So a little bit newer model. Cool tracks. The back deck. Very cool. All right, we got the, uh, these are the Warrior um, anti-tank section. The Warrior, you get two of these. It's kind of like a Bradley. It reminds me of the Bradley model. This is uh, 2019. You see that there. Turret, tread detail hull detail, side skirts, back. So it looks very similar to uh, a Bradley and how it, uh, you know, the basic size. There's, I think, the, the tow launcher, or the Milan launcher right there. So like I said, you get two of those. And then really the uh, kind of the star of the box. Here we go, you get uh, five of these challengers. So again, if you were just to buy a box of Challengers, that'd be $45. It's like half the, the box right here. Um, just big, massive tank like an Abrams. Again, lots of good... Lots of good detail. Got some scraping from the other sprue, but not just superficial. And it's on the turret ring, so you can't really see it. Side skirts, different kinds of side skirts. I guess that's the Romer armor. The turret. Back deck. Very cool stuff. Very cool. Um, you know, the Challenger tank is uh, like one of the premier battle tanks. So it's in the same class as a T-80 and M1A1. Um, you know up in that area and uh, as a result it's it's pretty pricey I think with the Romer armor these are like 13 points a piece something like that they're quite pricey uh, but you get a lot of capability um, you know in that that armored package for that so there you go guys that is a look at the cool British starter box set so grab this for Team Yankee. So if you're looking to uh, add a new force for Team Yankee, or if you are a first-time Team Yankee player, 
or want to be a Team Yankee player and want to start with the British, um, this is a great entry to it. Um, as far as what to add, um, I'm going to throw out my thoughts, but I'm not a British player, so I'd love to hear from you guys. When you start with this British box, what, what do you guys think your essential next purchases would be? Um, I would think we would need infantry and uh, some kind of AA. Um, because if you don't have AA, um, Heinz, Apaches, Cobras, all of that stuff is just going to ruin your day. So you need some kind of AA support. Um, but I'd love to hear what uh, you guys think as far as recommendations down in the comments below. Um, as always, please do give us a like and subscribe. Uh, we always appreciate it when you do. Click that bell to receive notification when we release new content. Um, you can also, if you like our Flames of War content, check out our Flames of War Patreon. Um, there we do uh, one uh, Flames of War battle report exclusive to them every month, which is very cool. As always, thanks for watching, though, and keep on wargaming.